Oh, the tea's gone cold. So sad. This is tragic. Okay, back in court. Lobby number one. Uh, 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 Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. October 19th, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. How do we go from lobby number one to courtroom number four? This is the court of balance session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. <laughs> Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Whipster Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The, process, the prosecution calls Salmonella. Or the, that director. Oh no. Will the witness state his name and profession? Mm. How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob raffle. Salmonella, <laughs> I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Witness testimony, the day of the murder. I was at the studios around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. You hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting at the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Pretty sure, hmm? Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to our testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, so first I definitely want to press on... Pretty sure. You didn't take a single break? Er, uh, well... Y yeah, now to one! <laughs> hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix. If his alibi holds, Powers is finished. Yes, I know, Maya. Hurt me, I'm sorry. You don't have to keep repeating this. Press him as hard as you can to find out where he's lying. Uh, right. Um... You don't seem sure. In the employee area. That's right. It was a fight scene between the seal camera and the evil magistrate. Was anyone else at the run-through? 
Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL. She was cheering on Hammer, if you could believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. If it was a choreographed fight scene, then it's pretty obnoxious to have someone cheering, huh? Anyone there? Any, I don't know, anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a- why? Why did it go on so long? Oh, because Powers hurt his ankle, probably. Um, I'm pretty sure you would already heard about this, but WP twisted his ankle during the rent through, see? Oh, right, that's the limp. Which of course led to me missing my lunch, Ruffs. Ruffs? Ruffs? Rolling on the floor, starving? I hear that everyone else ate lunch and... How did you hear that? Oh, what about the plates in the trailer park? Or, not trailer park, the uh, Studio 2 parking lot. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak, the assistant cooks them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. No, you didn't skip lunch, because the, there were plates in the, um... I don't have that as evidence, do I? We didn't, like, grab a plate. No. Okay. Eh, press on this, why not? Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. What's that supposed to mean? Still, I... Still... Uh, Whew. Still, whew, I was pretty busy all day, hmm. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run through. Oh, right, sorry. Whoops. Uh, to go off. Yeah, we know. You hear that? Did you skip lunch? No, you didn't. I saw the plates. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? It's not contradictory, but... Uh, the plates! The plates! Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. The plates! Mr. Manella. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. Yes, the plates! There were two plates! The same kind of plates at the em at the, as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? No, um, good call. I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble and got it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I er, wolfed it down then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts its testimony. Press on that one a bit more. You didn't- you ate steak. Ate steak, took break. Steak break. You didn't take a single break? Er, well... Y yeah, not a one. Sweats. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about? It said to press... Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press order! Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that t that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, ruffle. Well, um, Mr. Manila, what's this all about? But, well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call in the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Eek! <laughs> Uh-oh. Edgeworth is laughing. The break! Yeah, for you, we took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's 
Only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, Come out of murder in Studio One, long. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone stick, if you ask me. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross examination. The break. Is it? Why is that? Is it? <laughs> I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Lily was chasing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food, lol. Well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of it. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? I mean, there were the vans everywhere. Uh, what about this? Press on this. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm, I'd say it was from about 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. But it was only 50 minutes. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right, the other one was Diva's, sorry. Diva's case's plate. Diva's case, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. We're just gonna go in order and press on anything. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and claim it loud. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, with, with 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm, I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Tisk tisk tisk. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4 o'clock, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. It's Mr. Monkey. Where'd you get your information? Whoa, you're right. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fall on Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. They could have taken the hypotenuse, as I said before. Um, I said it was heavily forested, so I wasn't sure, but then the kid said he went through the forest, so it is uh, traversable. You could go through there. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No contra-argument, Mr. Wright. And I'm afraid you lose this round. Okay, cool. Thanks. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over. Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. 
We have found that there were several people in Studio 2 on the day of murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid we would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we have evidence, decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment the steel samurai skewered the victim. Order, I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was still a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, <clears throat> what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it, and I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. You're the children everywhere, after all. Uh, you... Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hickens to the stand. <laughs> He's so short! Give him a phone book! Your Honor. Perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. <laughs> oh. Hey, no courts allowed in the courtroom. Oh, the witness state his name and grade in school. Mm. Witness! What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. <sighs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackens. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Witness, or I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, or you were at Global Studios on the day of the er, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, pups? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just, uh, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer the bearded gentleman myself. A very long day. I'm so not 
photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me everywhere I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Witness testimony. Witnesses it account. I wanted to see a steam of steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and I went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about three minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow! I would have my camera with me. There would have been no time for a shot, I tell you. But you always have your camera with you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. You'd give up that easily? Hmm. Hmm. Very well. The defense might begin its cross examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Hmm. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Okay, I have my things that I took note of in my own noggin. This. If you had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. It it's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix. Remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. How do I... Oh, is it in this that says... Always carries it, yeah. Wow. Oh god, that's scary. Cody, what you said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera everywhere you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you! Uh oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? <laughs> this game is so old! It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. <laughs> How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright. How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... I don't care if he's a tri child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? B what yeah, so I have my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? But why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify to court about what you were so busy watching. What I saw. Here, I have my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai who goes for the bad guy, wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the steel samurai rules. He stopped moving because he died. Hmm. Oh, was that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. White, your cross-examination. And that was the murder. Then he stopped moving. Okay, um, yeah, I guess this. So you're watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, even once. 
Uh, no. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. Wham. Okay, fine. I guess, what does wham mean? <laughs> so the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? He told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? Hmm. I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching this Jewel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? But, well, because the Jewel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick, and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague about this. Wait, don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Uh, we're not allowed to press him too hard, so... Everyone will get mad at me. Yeah. If I press too hard now, the judge might keep me from continuing. I'll sit back and see how the rest of this goes. He still should go and get you again, man. Something about his account doesn't seem right. Phoenix! It doesn't seem right because he's being deliberately vague. Press on all the facts, Phoenix. Find out what he saw! I don't know. What did you do after the bad guy fell, Cody? Mmm, um, actually. The plate was so, so intense, I get kind of scared. So I went spit home. Something isn't adding up here. Something about his account doesn't seem right. How do I play this? Okay. It was murder, Cody. What? what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. B yeah, so what? You, you missed the most important part. Objection! The samurai stab! <laughs> With a samurai spear! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <clears throat> my point is this. This right here is point. See my point? Cody, you have seen some of the samurais... Er, Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurais fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. As I said, the samurai stab. Order, order. Master Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, er, that's the thing. Phoenix! I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Master Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? He was doing something else. Watching something else. He couldn't watch it. Um... Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Is it the scrapbook? Why could he look away from the fight? This! Although he's still learning how to use it. Path to glory! Here's my proof. Proof? Um, uh, can I do that again? Oh, oops. Oh, no. Ha! Lost your hand. Very well, okay. <laughs> oops, my bad. Um, is it the camera? Here's my proof. Well, it's not the camera. The witness stated that he recently received this camera. No, so I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Oh! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What, what's your problem, Pop? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero. And not take a picture. 
great. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Mm, yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Qu very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? About why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Mmm. Welcome to the real world, kid. No photo? Oh, he looks so sad. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The steel samurai has just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. But that's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. I feel strange in that testimony, Mr. Rupp. I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the crossing somebody from... Anyway. Uh... The way he said this. Are you sure? That's all? Y yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Press him hard. Because last time we let it slide, we had to go back around and do it anyway, so nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? H how did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Well, this feels great. Y yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you could change your testimony to a reflective, Cody. It took a few shots, but it was too late, and you still way erased them. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix, find out what this kid's all about. Did you- would you really erase it? Why? It's a digital camera. It's infinite. Infinite storage. You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know. Why would I want to keep a picture like that? Like what? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Okay, um, is now when I present the scrapbook? I don't know, man. Objection! Cody. What? what, what? Man, every time you say Cody, you probably become a bitch. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture where the seal sign my lines the final bow. Which I am. I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Eeeeeee! Mr. Ripe, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Jackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day! Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Mm, no. Wait, no way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. 
Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually, what, get a picture of the murderer? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Get a picture of the murderer? Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Is that Mia? I thought she died. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Oh. What? I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 no way, no. It's impossible that the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! Uh, order! I will have order! What, what if, I mean, Cody, is this true? What, what did you say? Tell the court what you saw. The A. Good job, Phoenix. You made him cry. Cody. That day you saw the Seal Samurai lose a fight. Right? Yeah, okay, okay. You're right. The, the Steel Samurai fell down. But then he didn't move. Yeah. Oh, was the guy who died trying to kill whoever was in the costume? Was he trying to... Was the victim trying to murder something and died because the murderer was actually doing self-defense? Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Oh, now would be a good time to remember the names of everyone. Um, Hammer was the guy who died. Steel Samurai was the victim? If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. No, he... I mean, unless someone put him in the other costume after he died, and there was still a hole in the costume. Do we not have a forensics team on this at all? Or, you know? Order, order, order. So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. Mike Wazowski, on the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He had already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. <gasps> oh! I guess I just assumed the picture of him going there was the one she deleted. But then, yeah, she should have said, Huh. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. 
Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the seal samurai costume. Whoa! But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. Mm. I did. Hmm? I thought that the seal samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pups. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Uh, but what? Show us quick. N no way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Wow. Here, this is it. S two. Well, looking at this, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? Yeah? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. But what? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? C certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Okay. S2. Oh, is it he got to, um, could have made it to Studio 2? Salmonella was talking about it was impossible to skedaddle between the two studios in 15 minutes. So, is that... that he was here? <laughs> I don't know. Your Honor, look at this. I'm not sure I'm scared. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's all this about? Please explain that so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Oh right, there was no blood in Studio One, so the body was moved and he was actually murdered in Studio Two. Wow! Here at Studio Two. I see, that will explain the two in the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two because people were there. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime! The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard Ms. Oldbank saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole his sam steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. 
Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jackhammer stole the costume. Uh, I have proof. It's, um... Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I was never confident to begin with, so... <laughs> I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jackhammer stole the costume. Uh, oh, did he drug uh, Will Powers? He could have, couldn't he? He might have done it. Okay, let's go with this. This is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. <gasps> what? Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Sure, <laughs> fingerprint the bottle? No. Does his costume have gloves? Just powers blood. It'll probably be out of his system by now. Examine Hammer's body. I think fingerprint the bottle. No, I think they might be fingerless gloves, if I remember correctly. An idea. You? An idea? <laughs> Rich. Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle, give it to the judge. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Harkin's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldberg may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal this steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. Whew, that was a lot. Whew, that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. M me too. Lily, you both seem so, so confident. Ha, huh. maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Oh, guys, don't do this to your client. D dead? <laughs> of course we're kidding. Is that a an ashtray beside that couch? Once again, this game is so old. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers. We have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. Let <laughs> me continue. 